Welcome back to Scum Survival. So it's a fun zombie survival game. Actually, some people don't even call zombies zombies in this game. They just call them puppets. But again, that's just a story for another day. So first of all, welcome. And uh, we are playing this zombie survival game where we have to survive on this massive island. Currently, we are located in this B4 square. In front of us, I already have a boat. And inside of that boat, I have some decent loot. Wait, hopefully... Of course, I'm going to jump in the water and I'm going to make my shoes wet. Probably they're already wet. Yeah, they're at 100% wetness. Yep, I just wet my feet. That's amazing. Uh, we do have a box here, and I can show you what kind of loot we got here. So, oh my goodness, once again, I jumped in that water. So, recently, we just left the traders from the B4 square. So, that's how I was able to buy some loot inside of this chest. And, yeah, here we got an entire box with uh, gasoline canisters. We have some other random items like this pistol. We have some 9mm ammunition. We have the military compass and... Uh, some fuel so i'm gonna be using this fuel not only for this boat but in the b3 square so maybe even today we'll go back to that b3 square and in that b3 square we have a vehicle so i want to go there and get that vehicle i think it only didn't have enough fuel maybe by now it has discharged so maybe i'll need to find some batteries but that's fine we will find some batteries there's only one more place that i haven't looted around us and that is this thing around the b4 square also there's this lighthouse i mean we might check it out while we're at it correct yeah let's probably drop this thing here i thought i heard something okay twice i heard something go to my right maybe that was just water or something i have no idea what happened there uh what i've heard i don't know why i got the binoculars with me I'm gonna drop the binoculars in that box as well, and let's check out the lighthouse. Perhaps we'll get something on the lighthouse. And hey, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then check out the pinned comments. Maybe there will be some timestamps, and you can navigate to maybe something interesting through those timestamps. So thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream once again. Glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome. It's been quite a while since we've played Scum Survival. I think it's been, at least for me, about 20 days. Uh, maybe it's been 10 days since the last episode, but I think for me it's been 20 days since I've played Scum Survival. I missed it, so that's why we are here. I'm gonna keep the water, because I need to keep that water. Uh, Absinthe Father might be useful, because then we can clean the rags. I don't need the syringe. I am gonna keep the batteries and painkillers. That's cool. I also have some antibiotics. We have some raisins that I can eat. Do I really need to eat right now? At 59%. Whatever. Let's eat like two or three raisins and then let's check out this lighthouse. Let's see what that stuff has to offer. Welcome to my screen, says some guy. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to be on your screen. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Um, I don't like that this melee weapon up the very top is at the top. It has to be at the bottom. How about I put it here and then I put it at the bottom. They're gonna stay at the bottom, but then somehow some it still moves to the top uh, above the backpack. I don't like it. The backpack has to be the first one. All right, so we have the backpack. Inside of the backpack, we have a hatchet. Let's put it on my back just in case. And that's it. I think I've taken everything there is to take. Unless I've missed something, that's fine. In any case, I'm gonna drop that here. My boat is... Oh, wait. I try to put the boat in the box. Uh, alrighty. I'm ready to get that. And we have only four arrows. Four. That's not that many arrows. Uh, I'm making sure that I don't see any zombies. Okay. I'm gonna maybe chop down this bush. Some of them attack us. Some of them attack us. So for those who don't know, we are playing in 0.95 update. Obviously the most recent update. It came out probably already almost a month ago. And uh, yeah. Uh, we have zombie hordes now. I am pretty sure some of the updates... Uh, have been already released. Maybe developers have tweaked some of these zombie hordes. I have no idea. But if we make plenty of noise, zombie hordes will spawn. Okay, so I've just increased my awareness skill. I kind of got scared. I wasn't sure what that is. Let's cut that stuff down into planks as well. My nose have been running more than David Goggins. Says, yeah, boy, that's pretty funny. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Now we're going to craft a bunch of wooden arrows. And the most favorite feature of mine that we've gotten in the 0.95 update is this auto craft button. You just click it once and the character will craft as many arrows as he can as long as he has the required resources like the hatchet, a knife, and like those uh, sticks. So there's that in ASD Gaming. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Are we doing scum today, says some guy? Yes, indeed. The scum is on the screen. 
the scum is on your screen. So yes, we're playing some scum today. It's been a while since we've played scum. Do you know the game Rust? Yes, I have played Rust on the channel. There might be more videos of Rust. Today I was actually debating either Rust or this. But to be honest, I wanted to play some Scum Survival. As it's been a while since we played Scum Survival, I don't really want to leave the series for too long. Because if I don't play Scum Survival for like a month or two months, I'm not going to come back to those series. And I definitely don't want to abandon these series yet. There's still plenty of us to do. So I thought, why not do a live stream? Alrighty, let's not get this axe. Let's get this. And yeah, SD Gaming, thanks for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome once again. I'm not gonna say Happy New Year because I've read quite recently that you say Happy New Year only for a week after the New Year. So there's that. <laughs> In any case, Happy New Year. Happy everything. Oh, there's another vehicle, except it doesn't have any wheels, it got nothing. It doesn't have an engine. It's got absolutely nothing. Okay. We could disassemble it. Wait, wait, wait. I could disassemble some stuff from it. I'm gonna do it. Do I need a car jack? Uh, I don't know what I need to disassemble stuff. Uh, remove front light. Okay, so I can just remove it like this without doing anything too crazy. There we go. I just removed the front light and it does fit in my backpack over here. Beautiful. We'll be able to sell these lights later. Uh, let's sort of remove another light. So we don't need any car jacks. We don't need anything else. Any crazy tools. That's all we gotta do. Probably I can remove these things as well. Let's do it, ladies and gents. Let's steal the stuff from the vehicle. Well, it's not really stealing. It's nobody's. We're just taking it, basically. Let's take this. And start. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Good morning, Sestar. Good morning. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon. Okay, once again, Star, thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome. You should try Seven Days to Die again. A new year, a new game, says your boy. Maybe, maybe there will be some Seven Days to Die. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Perhaps. There's a new game. Uh, we gotta get garlic because a lot of you commented that you can use garlic as antibiotic. And I did not know that. And uh, there are some footsteps outside. Oh my goodness. Oh! I got it. I got it. No worries. I got it. Uh, whatever. Let's try to loot it. I've been playing Forza for the past couple of days. And yes, Khan was off my mind, I believe. It's easy to forget some games. That's why we are in scum. And we've gotten some driving gloves. Did I? Did we ever have these gloves before? Or is it the first time I see these driving gloves? Maybe they were added quite recently because I don't remember these driving gloves. Well, there is that. Uh, is uh, happy that scum is set in Croatia because I'm Croatian. Yes, I know that scum is set in Croatia. I am aware of that. But I shout out to all Croatian viewers. Welcome to the stream. Um, let's go higher. From what I remember, the lighthouse is pretty goop. But uh, maybe I'll be lucky. Maybe just last time when I've looted the lighthouse. I was just unlucky. Maybe this time we'll get something better. Okay, let's go to the very, 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 very top. Oh, Lord. It's like my head is spinning. Welcome to the, to the head spinning club. Because my head is spinning too. Okay, so we are at the very top. Maybe if we were playing in multiplayer, then... You know what? Here you can... Camp. Maybe you can shoot some players. But in the single player world, being here is kind of pointless. It looks kind of cool. And if I'm not mistaken, we are going... Wait, we were, we've were we looted that side. I haven't looted this side yet. So we're going there, ladies and gentlemen. That's the town that we are about to loot. Because let's... That'll... We got nothing at the very, very top. Not a single... Gun. Nothing. That was a fun fact. I have no idea what fact. But welcome. If you shout out Croatia, you need to shout out Finland. Why do I need to shout out Finland? Shout out to Finland, though. But why do I need to do anything? Welcome to the stream, though. Welcome, welcome. Is this offline? Yes, I like playing in offline. 
In multiplayer, there's too much lag, at least for me. I don't like whenever I loot the box. It's like, then it waits for like half a second, then it opens. Also, you rarely find any players. And the game is much smoother in, in single player. If I wanted to play multiplayer, I'd play Rust. If I want some action, I'd play Rust, right? Or perhaps DayZ, like PvP action. Again, I have nothing against Come Survival. I think it's a cool game. I like it in single player. However, in multiplayer, there are plenty other better games, at least for me. That's just in my opinion. But who knows, maybe in the future something will change. Maybe I will change my opinion. So I have an axe on the third slot and on the second slot, but yet it's not here on the third slot. What if I... Drop it on the ground, I have to remove it, and there we go. Okay, now it's gone from the second slot. All right, let's up probably on the boat. I think I've looted, wait, did I loot everything? I don't think I've looted this entire island as there are a few more houses. Okay, let's check out these houses. But 0 0.95 has an amazing update. I got Rager built up and it's really, really nice. Oh, speaking of Rager, Rager is the new vehicle. Yes, and that's another reason why I don't really play in multiplayer. It's, I'll never have a vehicle in multiplayer. Like, it's simple as that. I'll never have a car. Like, most of the game will never be accessed in multiplayer for me. Because to have a vehicle, you have to have a clan or friends or whatever. A group of people. There are some single player servers, but you have to play this game a lot to be able to have a car and maintain it. So, there's that. AST Gaming, thanks for the super chat. What is the quest after grinding... After grinder and last dinner, because I don't know, I have no idea what quest we were talking about. About what grinder? Make sure to check out everything you need to know about last dinner. It's just go on the channel, you'll find it. Okay, let's get these and these thingies. See, so yeah, that's also another reason why I don't play in multiplayer. Maybe if it wasn't as difficult to find cars, and if you could find a car... I mean, I get it. If you find a car, people... Other people won't find the car because there's only a limited amount of cars. I don't know, maybe there are like 40 or 80 cars per server. Uh, server admins can change how many cars can there be on the server, but... There... If you leave your car, like, people can... Probably explode it, they can destroy the wheels. They can do lots of stuff to your cars. And for that reason, you'll probably never have a car. Well, I'll probably never have a car in multiplayer. Okay, there we go. I knew that there was a zombie. I missed a shot. Didn't miss now. There we go, got it. Do I hear notification? Nope, that was not a notification. It was not on my side. Name of the game, it's Scum. Wait, where's my boat? I already lost my boat. Also, some of you might maybe be kind of wondering. I'm not super wet. It doesn't really seem like I'm wet, but my backpack was wet when the last episode ended. I think it was episode three. This is episode four now. So when episode three ended, I accidentally jumped in the water. So I got wet from head to toe, but everything's fine now. Okay, let's hop in the boat. And let's get out of ladies and gents. Uh, my dude is a little bit thirsty. So how about I drink some water? It was my phone. Sorry, says some guy. You're forgiven. Next time, keep it in silent mode. And let's get that all. I was wondering when you're going to continue playing Scum. Yep. We've gotten a decent amount of comments. Every time I do a last last internet live stream, there will be always at least a few people asking for Scum Survival. So I thought that, hey, let's do that Scum Survival. So thanks, guys, for asking for Scum Survival. Uh, it is probably a bit loud. The boat is loud. I'll make it quieter after we are done. Let's just drive there. I think it's still very loud, even at 40%. Okay, let's do it at 8%. It is way too quiet now. It do be like this, 20%. Eh, Fine-ish. What happens if you jump in the water? I mean, I'll have to swim. I'm not gonna be able to swim with this backpack because it's too heavy. So I'll have to leave the backpack. Permanently. So, yeah, guys, we have looted that side uh, in episode three. Now we're going here. If 
you destroy the car's doors, you can loot it even if it's locked. Yep. Probably. I mean, I wasn't aware of that. But yeah, for that reason, I don't really play in multiplayer. You need to, like, really dedicate yourself to play in multiplayer. That's why I can play in single player. I can enjoy the game. I can play at my own pace. I can play a few hours a day, and then I can stop it for a week, and then I come back to it, and everything's still gonna be there. Okay, we're gonna park the boat. This is a perfect spot to park the boat. And you know it. Okay, let's leave. Before we do anything, though, I uh, want to get this boat, eh, this box. Any hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. Thanks for joining here. I love watching the place come, but I never played it myself. Welcome, welcome. It's all fine. Not every game I play here, people have to play it. It's about content. It's about entertainment. Um. Do I need that absent father? Maybe not really. Okay, let's leave those things here. If I get any infections, maybe I'll do something about that. I don't know. We'll see. I want to get my empty bottle with this other bottle, and it's more or less fine-ish. Let's drop this thing back in the boat. And now let's loot this town, ladies and gents. Except before we do anything, let's add the, the volume so that I can hear the zombies. Pacific Drive gameplay, please. Pacific Drive, that's the game that I wanted to talk about. I have seen some YouTubers play it. And it's, it looks fun. I'm still not really sure what it's about. Again, I don't want to get too much spoilers. But uh, everybody that has played Pacific Drive, every YouTuber that has played it, they just said that it's an amazing game. It's like very unique and amazing, like some sort of survival game where you survive in a car. I don't really know much more about that, but I know that everybody loves it and I want to check out Pacific Drive. So maybe we will be checking it out quite soon. Did you ever play Project Zomboid? Yes. I have played Project Zomboid. Probably twice on the channel. Oh, there's the Ranger. There's the new car. Uh, it's. I think it's called Rager, not Ranger in this game, though. Oh, my goodness. Can't go up. Okay, there we go. We did it. And what does this car... Yes, it is called Rager. It doesn't have an engine. It has nothing! <sighs> it's got nothing at all. My character is sweating a lot because we have this biker leather jacket, but without this biker leather jacket, I'll have even less storage. So I don't know what to do. Lego Fortnite is just Minecraft, but with Legos. Um, probably. Okay, we have another wheel. That's for the Razor, probably. We have a car jack. I should probably get it. I won't be able to install wheels without the car jack. So let's get that car jack. It does fit perfectly in our inventory. So yeah, the Pacific Drive. I've been thinking about it. I'm not really sure if you can just buy it on Steam or something because it's kind of in early access. If you buy it on Steam, do you get the access to it? So I'm not sure how that works. I'll need to research that. But I've heard that everybody likes the Pacific Drive. It's like a new hot upcoming survival game. Okay, why is the door open? I don't remember opening it unless the zombie opened that door. Interesting. How long will you live stream until I stop? Hopefully that's a nice answer. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Maybe I'll find some more garlic because some of you said that garlic is antibiotic. But some of you, a lot of you left me comments saying that ASAC eat garlic. And I didn't know that. So next time zombies bite me, I can just eat garlic. And that'll be like antibiotic. Christmas ornament. Okay. If I find any more batteries, I'll get them. And then I'll probably have to drive with this boat to here. Sadly, I cannot zoom, but I'm gonna drive somewhere there. And then we'll have to run on foot all the way to that B3 square. And then I'll have to drive back with the car to get the loot from the boat. That sounds like a plan, right? That definitely sounds like a plan, ladies and gents. Did they add back zombies to buildings or we still don't have any zombies inside of buildings? Interesting. Okay, duct tape. Bunch of goop. Uh... 
when you hover, uh, hover over garlic, you will see that it has antibiotic properties. Not much, but it's honest work. Uh, antibiotics, 1.2 milligrams. I see. I see that. I didn't see it. Well, that's something. I'll be able to pop lots of garlic. Okay, cool. Uh, once again, thanks for that info. Yeah, a lot of you told me to check out that garlic, so I will be popping garlic, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nothing. All right, let's skedaddle from this building. That log looked like a zombie. How that's possible, I have no idea. Also, we don't have a better backpack. We have this tiny, like... I mean, I wouldn't even know what level is this. There is a... There's a courier's backpack, which is like probably like level one, the, the worst one. This is like probably either level two or level three backpack. It is a pretty small backpack, ladies and gentlemen. We need a bigger one. There's a military backpack and then there is a hiking backpack. The military backpack is the second best backpack and the hiking backpack is the biggest backpack. So if I get a hiking backpack, I'll be pretty happy. If I don't get that, I'd like to get the military backpack. However, I'm not sure if we can find a military backpack in these residential buildings, perhaps. Hoping Sark plays a storyline-based survival game, says Overlander. Uh, Overlander, thanks for the suggestion. Uh, do you have any games in mind? We have played a lot of, like... We've played some story survival games. There aren't a lot of story survival games. We've beaten the full uh, Raft. Raft has a story. We've beaten Raft fully. We've checked out the full story in Raft. We've played some other survival games like Days Gone, we've played Dying Lights, we've played Resident Evil games. I mean, if you call them survival games, kinda. What else have we played? We've played plenty of games. So The Long Dark, we've also played The Long Dark. Pacific Drive gameplay, yeah, there might be Pacific Drive. Maybe even tomorrow, it depends. Perhaps, well, this building was empty as well. Looting these residential buildings is becoming worse and worse. I'm not gonna... Should I check that one out? At least there, there is an incentive for now for me to loot these buildings because I don't have a backpack, so at least I want to find a backpack. Once we have it, then it's even pointless to go in these residential buildings. I really enjoyed your God of War playlist. Sad you weren't able to finish it. I'm sad that I didn't finish it either. I'm sorry for not finishing it. That's the only game on the channel that, I'm, that I regret never finishing it because we kind of finished all the other games. Unless they never had an ending or something. So that's the only game that I wish I finished. Here. Why don't you play multiplayer games, says Luca. Why, yes. Please elaborate. Expand your comment further. Last day, says Seven. I'm a hopefully not. Hopefully there will be more days. Hopefully it's not just last day. Last day. Make a new playthrough then. A uh, new playthrough of the God of War, maybe. That's like probably the only way of how I'll be able to continue the God of War. Because I might have played a little bit off camera. In God of War, I'm not sure. The chicken looked kind of big though. Another car jack. I'll probably get it to sell it. If I can fit it in my inventory somehow, some way. There we go, it fits perfectly. And perhaps we'll get some more screwdrivers. It's kind of sad we didn't even hear any zombies. What is this? Hmm. I mean, actually, we don't even get goop. These crates are just empty.
This is more like American Pickers than Zombie Survival. I have no idea what's American Pickers. I've never heard of that. But I, every game can be uh, probably described in, in something else in another word. Like, for example, Last on Earth, more like Bunker Alpha Simulator. Scum Survival, more like, as you said, American Picker, even though I have no idea what is that. Episode 2, you have Razor Car, need one wheel. And drive set. Uh, we will assemble the Rager. I just... I have a wheel here. I could probably take it, but like... I don't know if I can keep it with me in my inventory. I'll have to run with it. And I'm still not sure if I have everything else with it. However, I am pretty sure that I can get another car. Like, we will be getting the Rager. Eventually. So you don't need advanced engineering to craft all items. I think I have advanced engineering, but I think they removed it. You no longer have to have it. Kinda. Didn't you have a car in a different village that needed parts? Yes. We're gonna go there quite soon. But before we do this, let's check out the pharmacy. The pharmacy might have something nice. See ya, Bhavesh Maheta. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the info. Cotton painkillers. Beautiful. So my goal is just to get like whatever car right now. So we could go from point A to point B. And then... We'll be able to get the Rager because I want to get the Rager. It's probably like the best car in the game. It looks cool. And I want to have it. So we will be getting it eventually. More painkillers. That's cool. We can sell some of those painkillers. We can keep some of the painkillers. have another clean-ish rag. Yeah, it's somewhat clean. Let's get it. I guess it's clean-ish. Yo, Rudy Alejos, welcome to the stream. I mean, I did see you before. I've sent a telepathic hello. But yeah, everybody gets a telepathic hello. But say, I don't speak telepathically. It sounds like a you problem. Because most of us communicate telepathically. And we've gotten some potassium iodide pills. I'll get those. They'll be useful if we ever go to this uh, C0 sector. Also, there's another thing that I don't think I ever spoke about. So when you start Scum Survival, you spawn in one of these random sectors. Sometimes you will spawn in like B0 sector, which is like the worst sector. They'll throw you somewhere at the very end. So you'll have to run to the very middle. Like that's a horrible spawn. I think some of these sectors should be just removed because you shouldn't just spawn somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I guess. Maybe there are some even worse spawns, but like spawning in B0 sector is just like terrible. There's nothing there. Activated charcoal. Uh, do we need it? I don't know. Let's get it. Perhaps I'll sell it. I'm not sure what I can do with this activated charcoal. But I'll get it. So we've looted the pharmacy. It didn't have much, did it? A little bit of cash. I think there's one more building, unless I've looted it already. I doubt it, though. I'm still... I thought I heard a zombie. Yeah, I've looted this building. Well, that's it. Let's hop on the boat, I guess. And we're gonna run. Maybe I haven't looted everything. Everything, yeah. There's another tiny... thing on the other side. Wait, where's the boat? Okay, then my boat is over there. And uh, is it that way? Probably. 
So there are a few more buildings that I haven't checked yet. Okay. The dude's feet are wet, which doesn't make much sense. As I jumped in the boat, unless the boat is leaking. Off zombies, yes. <laughs> no zombies and no loot. I turned off both things. American P Pickers is a TV program where two men go to people to search through their garage and sheds to find stuff they can buy of them, then they can sell stuff in their own shop. Okay, I didn't know that. Thanks for for the info. Do we have another car? There's another Rager up there. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's park the boat. My dude is what? Uh, the stomach is yellow. That means something. Uh, it's probably in the health. Stomach empty. That's what it means. I'm hungry. Oh, we have some crackers. Let's eat a lot of crackers. I'm going to eat this entire box of crackers. Let's see how many calories I'll get. Just munching on these crackers. There's no tomorrow. 1,450 calories. That's a lot of calories, homie. Okay. Man's gotta eat. Oh, I didn't do everything. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. I need to take out this box again. Oh, no! Lord! Okay, I'm using your strats, ladies and gents. I used the bow to, to hit that guy. That's kind of cool. You told me that you can hit with the bow. I kind of knew that, but I've forgotten it. But in any case, thanks for those comments. Uh, this, this, and what else can I drop? I'm not sure. Random painkillers. Because I have a lot of them. The box is not sorted out, but again, that's the problem for the future Cyric, ladies and gentlemen. The current Cyric <coughs> doesn't care. The current Cyric has other things to worry about. Like, for example, not dying. Um, this... And what about health? I just have a bleeding injury and it doesn't really look like... I'm getting any uh, wound germs or anything, so it's fine. The Rager has bigger suspension. Watch out for them. The Rager has bigger suspension. Watch out for them. I mean, like, for Ragers? This car doesn't have an engine either, yikes. It does have another wheel, though. Interesting. We're also playing with a double the zombie spawn count. So we should have more zombies. It is what it is. We've looted this entire house and we found nothing. Is that even possible? Probably doesn't have a suspension either. Yep, we don't have an engine, we don't have suspension, we got nothing. I found an M82 in an airfield and got destroyed by two horde summons and a mech which flashbanged me. I believe. I'm not the biggest fan of mech robots either. I still have them turned on, but I really don't like the mech robots. I'm gonna get this mask to sell it later. I'm not the biggest fan of the mech robots. I think I've said that many times already. But yeah. Nothing. This building had nothing either. I hate new mechs. I didn't like mechs. The old or the new mechs. The new mechs are even more OP. They're kind of cooler, but the new mechs are even more OP than the old ones. And they were already very OP. So I don't know. 
Well, you've said it twice just now. Yep. Did I mention, guys, that I don't like mech robots? They just take a long time to, to sneak around them. They're just annoying. You cannot fight them. You just have to sneak around them. And uh, I don't know. Also, they technic technically kind of, well, not technically, but they almost shoot like laser beams. They see you and they like beam you. They'll destroy you. Oh, we've gotten a broken screwdriver. You know what? Even if it's a broken screwdriver, it's still a fine screwdriver. I'm going to get it. I'll take it with me. Nothing here. Sounds like a skill issue. I mean, it do be like that. Oh, no. They're going to destroy the door. Maybe. Oh, yes, they will. I mean, there's only one zombie, though. Hello, sir. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Nobody else. Now we can close the door. Except not yet. It takes quite a while until we can close that door again. I'll get that needle. We can craft another one, but again, the more needles, the better. I like my needles. A frying pan. I still haven't tried cooking in this game. I did cook like once. Kind of, but I haven't cooked anything. The cooking is kind of silly as well. To cook anything, you have to have a recipe. Like, excuse me, sir. Wine. Can you use wine to disinfect wounds? I'm not sure. Probably not. I'm gonna assume not. We've gotten a backpack, except it's a lot smaller than our current one, so we're just gonna leave it here. Uh, nothing. Okay, we got one more floor. I know somebody's outside. How did they hear me? How did that zombie hear me? Hmm. They're destroying the door again. How do they know that I'm here? Okay, good night. Search beds for cash. I've, I've searched like a lot of beds. Almost never get any cash. Whenever I remember to search the beds, I do try to search them. Somebody opened another door. I've heard that. Okay, we got this dude. We still have a few arrows. Another tiny backpack. Useless backpack. Sometimes it takes a really long time to get the hiking backpack. Sometimes you get it very fast. <sighs> so that's interesting. Wait, there are these olive trees. Before you could get fame points for getting olives. Now do we get fame points for getting olives? No, that's it. Olives no longer give fame points. We can still eat these olives. Like, two of these olives gave us... Uh, 80 calories. So we get 40 calories per olive. And probably not that great. I mean, they do give stuff. If I had more space, maybe I could take more of those olives, but they don't stack. Did I loot this floor? I don't even remember anymore. I don't remember anything. Feels like I've been here. But apparently I haven't because the zombies just opened up this door. Interesting.
was another zombie. Actually, there are two zombies. I see them. Okay, I got one. I need to kill. I need to get some more kills. I need to get some fame points. And killing these zombies is probably the best way to get fame points. So let's try to get them. Something's happening with these arrows. Before they'd get stuck in the body, but now it's like they're kind of floating a little bit. Olives are OP. Are they? I mean, they just give calories, like 40 calories. I have eaten a few olives. We have got 147 calories. They're probably good. I mean, it's it's nice food. I don't have nothing against olives. They used to give uh, fame points. Then they were better. And how to add the cross thingy on the screen for better aiming. Like the dot thing? Uh, as I probably already explained in one of the comments, it'd be unreasonable for me to, <laughs> to to think that you've read that comment. But somebody once asked about that dot, and it all depends on what kind of bow you're using. It depends on your archery skill, and it depends on your strength. So if you... Check this out. I'm going to hold it for too long and then the dot disappears. And when that dot disappears, that means I'm less accurate because let's say I aim here and there we go. The arrow goes straight in that thing. But if I, for example, shoot over here and as soon as it disappears and the longer I wait, the less accurate the character becomes. Actually, wait, what? Okay, we still got it in the middle. That's interesting. Maybe because we have nice strength. But what if I hold it longer? There we go. Now it shouldn't be accurate. There we go. Now it wasn't accurate. So yeah, the more strength you have, the more accurate the character is going to be. But basically, as soon as this dot disappears, the character becomes inaccurate. At least with lower skills. I think I have either advanced or medium archery skills. Well, that's all I know about stuff. Okay, archery advanced. So yeah, we do have this advanced archery. Gotten a parsnip. Let's go. Let's pop the parsnip. Stealth is very stealth is very useful against mech robots. Probably. Okay, so nothing in this house either. Okay, so let's probably hop in the bo in our boat. I wanted to say let's hop in the box. Let's hop in our boat. Okay, the zombie just spawned out of nowhere. All right. Oh, I knew that I've heard something to my right. There's another schmuck here. Okay, there's another zombie. So for some reason, there were no zombies when I came here. I mean, there were a few. Now a lot of them spawned again. Interesting. Yeah, something's going on with these arrows. They are a bit different. Where did I leave my boat? Definitely not here. There's a crashed ship. A sunken ship. I think we can loot it to get some loot. I think once I tried swimming there. And I've gotten nothing. Depends on the weight of the bow too, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah, as I said, it depends on the bow. Like, we have the 35-pound bow here. If you get, like, a 70-pound bow or a 90-pound bow, and if you a character can't draw that, the the crosshair will disappear, it'll disappear a lot faster. You also have to have strength. If you have high archery, but you don't have high strength, I also think it's not going to work. So it's it's a combination of three things. The the strength, the archery skill, and the, the, the bow's poundage, the bow's uh, weight. I'm going to take this out. I'll drop this. One more rag. Maybe I don't need that many rags. I don't know. All 
Alright, I will have to get some fuel though. To refuel this boat just a bit. If you have advanced stealth, you can sprint basically right next to the mech, maybe five meters away. Okay, I've never really uh, upgraded any... Any, any... Stealth, so maybe I'll have to do that. Thirty-five pounds. How much is that in kilos? I mean, thirty-five pound bow is gonna be about twenty kilos. Not really. Seventeen. It's seventeen, eighteen, probably. It's it's two point two pounds is one kilo. It's kind of in half. So thirty pounds is around fifteen kilos. Kinda. Probably about seventeen says O oh, M B. Yeah, probably. Just bring antibiotics. Yeah, we're gonna get the antibiotics. But before we do this, I need to uh, go that way. There's nothing else waiting for us in this town. We don't have a car. We have a car in the B3 sector, correct? Unless we have a car here, but I don't think we have a car here. I've looted this town last time, and I don't think we have a car in this spot. way my character once again is thirsty I didn't find any wells I didn't find any water it's that sad and we cannot really drink ocean water either well, let's go on a little boat journey we're gonna leave the car next to the road and then we'll have to sprint all the way to the B3 sector. It, it'll take us a few minutes to get there, but hey, we gotta get the car. Your graphics look amazing compared to my little RX uh, 580. Uh, does the game look really much different with lower graphics? Maybe. Well, in any case, hopefully you're still enjoying Scum. This way. No, oh, there we go. I can see the road already. I mean, we did save some time instead of just running on foot. Kinda. There's a huge difference in graphics already. Understandable. I don't think I have even everything on max either. Uh, I don't have. I have only shadow quality set to high, foliage quality to high. I don't. I don't have everything set to epic because some of the things uh, uh, are very resource intensive. There we go. I think I can leave the boat here. We're gonna come back here with the car. Correct, correct. Absolutely correct. Now inside of this boat, do I need to have these three antibiotics? Yeah, I'm gonna have those antibiotics. For a second I thought I left them in the car, but no, we don't need that. Do I need to get a car jack? Probably not. What am I gonna do with that car jack there? Nothing, I'm coming back to get that car jack. Is there anything else I want? No, I'm coming back to get the rest of those things. Expires in 21 hours. Interesting. Why hasn't it expired yet? The ski card. In any case. Let's dip out of here. I have this biker leather jacket. What if I just leave it? Because I'll have to run and I'm going to be pretty heavy. So, what if... Ladies and gentlemen, just what if... I leave the biker leather jacket in the box... I think that'll be pretty smart. I'm going to 
we get that needle and biker leather jacket goes here. Let's tag the arrows. And I think we're done. There we go. Let's start running. I'm going to still have the... Do I need to have this axe? No, I don't. It is pretty heavy. So that's why I'm leaving it here. There we go. Let's leave everything in the boat. So for those who didn't know what's going on, in that B3 sector, I have a car. I didn't get any fuel with it. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I need fuel. I almost got there without any fuel. That would have been stupid. So I'll have to carry that fuel in my hand. No! Disappointment is immeasurable. Uh, how do I place that box here somewhere? There we go. So I need to get a canister of fuel. I left to run with it in my hands. Eat some fruit, dudes. You're, dude, you're dying. Nah, we're fine. Just because the dude is a little bit thirsty doesn't mean we're dying. We can keep being thirsty for a long, long, long time. Uh, when we go to health, there's just water deficiency. It's fine. It can get all the way to like C3. There's nothing else we can eat anyways. Can probably take a shortcut by going this way, kind of, maybe. So there we go. Let's take a shortcut. I mean, if I had any fruit to eat, I would definitely eat those fruit. But I got nothing. Oh, there we go. We just found some fruit. We found some rose hips. Do I get anything by eating those rose hips? Three calories, hell yeah. Well, let's just keep running. I'll have to stop to take a break here. We are running out of stamina. The stamina is also kind of weird when you think about it. The dude can only run for a few minutes. For a few seconds. Maybe. And then we need to stop. Okay, let's lay down. What's up with these glasses? You gotta admit that the glasses are sick. <laughs> the dude has the drip. Um. Okay, stamina's back at full. Actually, the stamina's only at 99 because it cannot go any higher as I'm probably thirsty. So my health is probably going lower as well. So if we like scum, does that make us scum? When uh, the questions that keep me up at night. Are we scum if we like scum? I have no idea. I was always kind of... Maybe not weirded out, but it was always surprising why the game is called scum. That's why I always say that it's scum survival. Instead of just scum. As it just sounds wrong, so I just like to add that survival bit. To scum. Hey guys, welcome to scum. That's why I call it scum survival. Will there be a regular video as well? Uh, I don't think so. There will be a live stream. Maybe there will be part five. Like continuation after whatever we do today. Maybe there will be another episode in a video format. But for now, there is just a live stream. Isn't scum an acronym? I think scum is just scum. Unless it's an acronym for something, I'm not sure. Hi, Sark. I love scum, but for me, it's a bit empty. I need it needs uh, some life in it. It's, I guess. I mean, it's a very long game. It's not a fast-paced survival game. 
It takes a long time to get everything. You stay... You spawn somewhere randomly. You craft yourself a bow. You go to a town and you go from town to town searching for more loot. It's like Daisy. It's just a lot of uh, walking, a lot of running. Maybe in 1.0 update, we will get NPCs and those NPCs will maybe give tasks. And if those tasks are fire, I think that'll be the biggest update in Scum Survival so far. Because for me, the thing that the biggest update that we've gotten so far in Scum Survival were the traders. Some people don't like the traders and it's fine to be wrong. I think the traders changed the game. Without the traders, this game would have nothing really. I mean, it would have things, but this game has been in development for a while and obviously developers have added lots of different things, but the traders are the most noticeable and the biggest game changers. Like now looting is more important. You can loot whatever building and you can still sell hats and whatever other garbage to the traders. Without the traders, a lot of the loot and a lot of looting is pointless. And this game is like 90% looting. Maybe 95% looting. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming. We're coming home. Agreed we need, uh, agreed we need some NPCs aside from traders. Yep. Traders were amazing, but I think if NPCs are good and they give like some nice tasks and nice rewards for that, and if they become almost like a core part of the game, then that'll be the biggest update. So I have high hopes for the NPCs. The game obviously has gotten like cool updates, blah, blah, blah. But like for me, the traders were very huge because now it's fun to go loot. I can get things that I don't need because I know I'll be able to sell them. Because if you don't take things to sell, there are even less things to do in this game. Some people don't like that, hey, you can now go buy guns, you can buy things. Good luck getting enough cash to buy those things. And if you have enough cash, then buy those things. You'll probably lose them anyways. I don't know. In any case, I like the traders. That's my point. There are new stuff in the abandoned bunkers, so it's kind of not empty. There are definitely new abandoned bunkers. I haven't really looted them often. I'm not sure what I feel about abandoned bunkers. Okay, there are a few zombies that just popped out of nowhere. There are like four zombies here already just in this town. There is a fifth one on the side. And the car will be on the other side of the town. I'll try to avoid those zombies. Could try to fight them. They're adding guards and look around. I will send it on Discord. I think I've seen those guards. I've seen the pictures of those guards NPCs before. Okay, there's the Razor car. If zombies spawn, I'm dipping out. Actually, we have three wheels in the car already. Wait, the car has everything. Oh, it didn't have a seat. Somebody said that we had the Razor and other stuff, but I didn't have a seat in this car. That's why I couldn't drive it. I knew that it wasn't just a wheel or something else. Okay, I have no idea what happened to these arrows, why they're like that, why they're very wonky, and why on earth both of these zombies started chasing me, I don't have a slightest clue. But at least I got those zombies, that's fine. Conquest for a seat. I need my throne. There's another car though. It's not just this car. The Razor is fine and all, but there's another car. 
I'm not 100% sure where it is. It's somewhere there-ish, kinda. It's gotta be kinda close. Okay, so some places have less zombies. Some places have a lot of zombies. There's a zombie here, I know. I just wanna know if there's anybody behind us. Okay, doesn't really look like it. Do I have any arrows? I have nine arrows. That's... A decent amount of arrows. Extremely lightweight arrows. These are... Not the best arrows. These are like the worst arrows probably in the game, but they're... Amazing against these zombies. I don't have an issue with these arrows. They're very easy to craft. And that's why I like them. Okay, I'm just looking around... And making sure that there are no more zombies around us. And do we have sound 100? Yes, we have it at 100. Let's cut that into smaller sticks. So we get more sticks with an axe. I am like almost 100% sure. Maybe some of you in the comments can confirm that. But I'm pretty sure a tip and trick in getting more sticks is using a... What is, what is wrong with a zombie? I've never seen them do that before. Why was it flying like this? I've never seen that before. That's interesting. What a weird zombie. Okay, let's craft some more arrows. Please don't abandon uh, Rager, says OEP developer. What am, I, what am I supposed to do with the Rager, homie? Please let me know. And if you have any awesome ideas, I'll definitely do that. Please let me know. What am I supposed to do with the Rager? I want to take it, but I don't have the seat. There's nothing I can do with it. Unless I fall asleep next to the Rager and I sleep in that car. And I just look at it. It was dancing. Yeah, that zombie was definitely dancing. For sure. We are not looting anything here because we have already looted the town. I'm sure the loot has respawned, but I'm usually against relooting the same locations twice, especially in single player. Okay, we got a headshot there. Sadly, I cannot zoom in when there's a video. I always zoom in when I shoot those heads. Haven't gotten a single comment saying, Sack, thanks for zooming. I assume people appreciate that anyways. Just because nobody said that thanks for zooming doesn't mean... That... It's not worth it. Okay, we've gotten a screwdriver. That's nice. Some more arrows. Find a chair. Uh, okay. That's a nice tip and trick. Thank you. Thanks for zooming in, says Jayla. Thank you. I appreciate the zooming and how you can see the part like, geez. It's more clear on the screen than on a video. Plus, if you're watching on mobile especially, obviously these zombies are going to be very tiny. So that's why I always zoom in. Every time I can zoom in, I usually zoom in in, in, in Scum Survival. Every time I shoot from somewhere further, I always zoom in. Because I know it's useful. But yeah, here on the live stream, I cannot zoom in. I can probably zoom in. Uh, wait a second. If I do this, there we go. I can zoom in. Oh, actually, but at the same, it'll be difficult. Like if I'll, I'll have to click a button. Like let's say I'm zooming at the zombie, then I zoom in, I shoot, and then I'll have to remember to unzoom. It is. I'll die, basically. That's all I'm trying to say here. Long story short, I will die. If I start zooming in and zooming out, okay, I just killed that zombie and it just respawned. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I see, now we can zoom in. Which is that, that zoom is not even that big. It's pretty small zoom. I think it's like 200% zoom or something. I did lose a lot of arrows though. Where did all of them go? Well, I picked up some of them. Sounds pretty simple. Push a button. Two buttons, actually. It's to push two buttons to zoom in. And then to unzoom, I have to push two more buttons. And I have to lift my hand off of the mouse when I zoom. And before I shoot, I have to lift my hands off of the mouse. So you are right. It's not that difficult. But I will get lost. I already forget sometimes to move the camera up and down. It's like, why don't you put the camera in the in the down right corner? It doesn't belong there. 
The camera does not belong in that corner. I'm telling you. Rudy, I'm sorry. No, no need to say sorry or forgiven. I don't know why you're saying sorry for. What you're saying sorry for. Plus, it's hard to zoom when you're being chased by a horde while trying to defend yourself. Yep. Oh my goodness. How? Why? They just respawn again behind us. That's silly. That is actually silly. That was a nice flip, though. Thanks, zombie. That was so silly. For those wondering why am I so slow, there are zombies everywhere. It is easy to die. So I'm just trying to take things a little bit slower. By heart, it's hard to zoom in. I meant to say that I'm do I'm a donut. And I won't be able to zoom in. Consistently. Check the well, dude. Uh, we should probably check the well. I've forgotten about it. I said I don't want to reload the towns, but hey, we could check for water. Okay, like here, I have to zoom in. <laughs> And there we go, now we have to unzoom. That zoom was probably goop anyways. In any case. Where's the car? I am not planning to rewatch my second episode here live now. That was a goopy zoom. That it's as good as it gets. There we go. There's the car. I knew that it's got to be somewhere here, ladies and gentlemen. We found the vehicle. The, it does have a little bit of fuel, and even here we uh, we have already some ammunition. Why the door is this destroyed? Was it this destroyed last time? Um, I'm not sure. In any case, we're going to refuel it. Uh, fill from the container. Ladies and gentlemen, we have it. We have our car. What is the purpose of playing scum? You kill, run, loot, and what, says Michael. What's the point of life? You wake up, you sleep, you eat, you poop, you sleep, you eat, you poop, you poop again, you sleep, you eat. Same thing for scum survival. By playing Scum Survival, you're actually getting a higher degree. You're going to become a NASA scientist. You're evolving. You're educating yourself. You're preparing yourself for the more difficult life. Said no one ever. I mean, it's a survival game. Just as any other game, you play the game to have fun. Where was the well? It's probably further away from here. Now you convinced me, says Michael. I'm good at convincing. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. So I don't have to forget about that car. We're gonna go and sit in it. We'll skedaddle. But I wanted to drink. We could loot another pharmacy. But again, I've looted it before. I don't want to reload it again. There we go. There's the well. Maybe I'll have some food. Maybe, maybe we'll have a little bit of food. Empty. By food, I meant water. Zero water. For me, it's like it's not really like a sandbox survival game, but I'm not even sure what sandbox means. By sandbox survival game, I think it's like you make your own rules, you make your own destination. Like currently, this game doesn't have any tasks, it doesn't have any goals, you're just surviving, you're just trying to get better gear. That's kind of what I'm doing. Same thing as in Last Day on Earth. If you play Last Day on Earth, like there, there is no goal either, you just play. Same thing here, like Minecraft, you just play. You just play and enjoy. Next month, you'll be in NASA as the goal. All right, ladies and gents, now we're going to go back to where we left the boat. To get this stuff. We did it! We have the car. Let's dip out. It only has three wheels, but that's fine. Wait, they've done something with the car. They have zoomed in a lot. Can I change the, the zoom level? 
uh, third person POV, first person driving POV, third person driving F uh, FOV, it's already at 90, so that's as far as it goes. Alright. It's definitely been a bit further before. The Rager is crying right now. There's nothing I can do with the Rager, homie. Stop it. I want the Rager as well, but what am I going to do with it when I cannot drive it? I can't drive it while standing for some reason. We don't have one wheel, but that's all right. Move to another wheel. Hopefully I have enough fuel. Wait, that's all the fuel that I got. I had two canisters of fuel. I don't have any more. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't think zombies are chasing me. I think I'll be able to start it again. Uh, hopefully I'm not using too much fuel. I'll get to the car there to my boat, but how do I get more fuel? Unless I'll loot another town for more fuel. Find the Rager seat for us, please. I don't- I still don't understand the comment. Please elaborate. What do you mean, find the seat? It's not like... It's easy to find. I could take a shortcut, but I'm scared to take shortcuts with this car. A gas station is near you. Wait, we're gonna pause here real quick. I wanna open up Scum Map. And, uh, we'll see. Scum Map. Is there actually a gas station around us? Um... Let's go to filters. Buildings and gas stations. Okay, the gas station is actually here. It's behind us there. Let's go to the gas station and then we'll go to the boat. Yeah, let's go to the gas station. Hopefully it'll have some fuel. But, if I go there... Oh my goodness, I don't have a lot of fuel. We gotta go to the gas station. Hopefully it has some fuel. If it doesn't have any fuel, then what am I gonna do? If I drive this to the boat, then at least I'll be able to go to the gas station in that city. Let's probably go to the gas station in the city. Because I won't have enough unless I will have enough fuel. Fuel in the gas station, no way. Maybe there is no fuel there. Oh my goodness. Go to the boat, but there is no fuel in the boat. It's not far. Let's go for it. If it doesn't have any fuel, that's it. I'm, I'm going for it because it's closer and... Whatever, maybe I will lose the car. The car is getting pulled to the right side. It doesn't really use that much fuel. That's cool. Yo, Insane, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. The car just doesn't want to listen to me. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Hopefully you're having a great day. A better day than this car. Who else thinks I should name the car Goopmobile? It sounds about right. But we had enough fuel to get there. We still have enough fuel to get to the boat. Alright, so zombies will spawn here, obviously, as always. Let's get out of here. Mom, the pixels are talking to me, says so insane. Welcome, insane. What do you mean I am a pixel? Did you just call me a pixel? Pixels, like a bunch of pixels. I'm just pixels on the screen. There's a bicycle, a fully working bicycle. Where was it when I needed it? That was a pretty goopy zoom. It doesn't zoom any further. But hey, that's fine. Oh my god, Tyke, like, what a great zoom in! Fool! Ladies and gentlemen, the gas station is full! Speaking of fools, if you're not a fool, smash the like button. Fuel, and a fool, whatever, forget about it. Oh, the fool, the, the fuel is full. The joke is- the joke still works. Smash like. 
if you like that the gas station is full and you ain't no fool. And a hiking backpack! Whoops, there's the wrong button. And we've got another like a headlight. Okay. Today's a nice day. We're getting loot. We're getting loot. Um, the gas station is very easy. For some reason, either zombies didn't spawn or whatever. La before, the gas stations were a lot more dangerous. Now it's very, 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 very simple. Okay, we're gonna loot that thing later. I will get the backpack. Maybe even now, let's get that backpack and then we'll run back to the car. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, there's the big bag. Yes, indeed. Um, we need to repair that bag. There we go. And now let's drag everything in the bag. I mean, while we are dragging, I might as well sort out the inventory, correct? How is it sorting out? I don't know. Don't question me. I don't have the answers. What am I doing? What have I done? And the credit card that I'll need to refuel the, the car. There it goes. It's sorted out. It's fine, ladies and gentlemen. It is fine enough. Now let's get the car and let's refuel it. Scum needs some auto sword features, maybe. It's annoying. I'll just get to the car and I'll come back here and zombies will respawn because that's what they do. Some of them have already respawned here. Silly. Yeah, the, the current spawning of these zombies is very weird. I like that we have more zombies, but they shouldn't spawn like that. There's got to be one more arrow that I shot, but it's gone. I don't see it. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Now I got it. You missed on purpose just so that you could zoom. Probably. You are right. Where are these arrows? They're supposed to be around here. Well, I don't have them. It's all right. We have only five more arrows left, though. Sayonara arrows. Yep. Well, I'm going to craft a few more then. Look at this, that zombie has respawned. That is a little bit crazy, if you ask me. All right, let's get these arrows. We got 12 out of 12. Just exactly what the doctor ordered. And now zombies spawned around the car. What is this? That's oh, they did something. They did it. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I don't want to take any credits for it. I knew that something happened. And uh, that happened already a few weeks ago. So now when you kill... The, whatever, I'm going to explain everything. So check this out. Now when you kill zombies, they just don't fall, but they react to the shot. Which they've, they've been always reacting to the shot, but they never reacted to the last shot. Check this out. I'm going to shoot this guy. And the zombie kind of uh, shook. Right, now I'm going to shoot it here. And I'm going to kill it with the last shot. And you see? The zombie kind of reacted to the shot a little bit. And before they were not reacting to that. Or maybe they were reacting, but then they stopped reacting in any case. One of the devs once joined and I mentioned that. And they said that they'll improve the animations later. But they apparently are improved already. And I remember I've read that in the patch notes about a few weeks ago. So yeah, that's cool now. That's it. It doesn't really matter. Don't get too deep into it. It's probably not because of me or anything. I'm mostly joking. 
All I'm trying to say here is that I'm happy that... Zombies can do flips now when you shoot them in the head. That's it. Because before they've never done those flips. And I would have seen that. Now look at this, the zombie woke up and it started running! Did, did you see that? It spawned from the ground. <clears throat> look at this, you see that? They fell. To the he uh, from the headshot. They've never used- uh, they've never done that before. They never used to do that. So I guess that's cool. It's a little thing, but those little things matter in my opinion. You need medium stealth now. Wait, with medium stealth those zombies won't see you? Walk like five meters away, just turn around and they spawn. It's like in wait, was it in GTA Vice City or GTA San Andreas? I'm not sure, but as soon as you you could respawn cars just by not looking at them. Every time you turn around from a vehicle, then you look at it again, it would respawn. There'd be different cars. So if you wanted to find some sort of a nice car, you just like look around a few times and those cars would respawn. I think it's in Vice City. Yo, DA, welcome to the stream. There's a zombie in the gas station. Cool. And another zombie spawned there in the distance. Cool. Goop mobile for the win. Yes, indeed. Syracuse goop mobile. Oh, so that's why that zombie was jumping last time. It was just knocking the invisible door. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's refuel the car. 528 cash. Nuts. Open the door. Yeah, exactly. That's what the dude was saying. Open the door. Do we still have a lot of fuel? We still have a lot of fuel. I wish I had some more canisters here, but I don't. If I had some canisters... Oh, I do have an empty canister, bro. I do have one. Let's fill it up. It's only 300... Let the car drink. The car is definitely drinking, ladies and gentlemen. And if you like drinking, smash like. Smash subscribe. Just gonna loot one more thing and then we can go to the boat that we've left. Sick, ladies and gents. Absolutely sick. We're gonna get the small toolbox. And we can dip out. So yeah, finally we have a functioning car. It's okay. It's a little bit rusty, but a she still works. That's all that matters. That was a nice spin. Okay, the zombie just died. Beautiful. Now let's go to the boat. Tried playing scum, but it's more fun to watch Cyric play. It says uh, Jeremy. Welcome to the stream, Jeremy. I almost hit the tree. It's like, what was that face? I don't know. I almost hit the tree. That was the face. All right. All right. We just gotta go straight, I guess. We can damage zombies with a car. Yeah, and the. Uh, in the past few weeks, months, they've added that thing, so now it's easier to to hit them. Oh my goodness. Clicking way too many buttons. The car is getting constantly pulled to the right side because we don't have a wheel there. It's a little bit annoying. And I can I cannot get another wheel. I cannot buy it, I mean. Maybe I'll find it one day. I just need to find another Wolfswagen with some wheels. Gucci. Cool up the aside from the headshot ragdoll death animation. I'm kind of lost. So everything's great besides that thing. The ragdoll headshot animation is bad. I'm kind of lost. You're trolling, homie. Well, I'm going to take a shortcut. I don't take it. I'll take a shortcut. Almost 
good stock on those rocks. Okay. Also, the worn out look of the vehicles they added also looks good in the survival game. I think it's because it's kind of damaged. The more damaged it gets, the the more worn out it looks, and I agree. But I think if you repair it fully, or if you buy new parts or something, I think it can look fine. But yeah, definitely. I like that the vehicles look kind of destroyed. Your car parts can fall off now, can they? I mean, you could take off doors be a while for a while now, but can you? Can they just disappear? Can they just fall off, maybe. If you take damage and you crash, if you take damage, I actually forgotten about that. If I hit a tree at full speed, I'll die myself. So there's that. boat is supposed to be around here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get all the loot from the boat and we'll say goodbye to the boat. There she is. So you basically start saying goodbye to the boat. But Cyric, I don't want it. Say goodbye to the boat. Are we gonna leave a little bit of fuel in it? Let's leave just a little bit of fuel. It's not too much fuel anyways and maybe we'll need to come back here or something will happen. Difficult to drag this thing. The terrain is so uneven. Bruh. Wait, I cannot drag the box now? How do I... Taking hands is too heavy, so I cannot take the box. So I can no longer drag the box. That's stupid. You can pick it up. I can't pick it up. It says it's too heavy. And what do I have here? Nothing. It's... I don't know, man. I get it. But at the same time, I am a little bit lost. Okay, what if I put it back in the boat? So you can move the box from the boat and to the boat. But you cannot move it any further. I still cannot take the box in my hands. Cannot move it just a little bit. Okay, what if I drop these canisters? Oh, I can take it in hands. I couldn't have taken it just because of those two canisters. Sick. Sick, I did read about that. I wasn't sure that we can't move those boxes at all. Wait, right, there we go. And jump with the box! What is this? Hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. That's it, we did it. It's in the box. It's safely stored in the box now. Plus, these canisters were zero, zero anyways. They didn't even have any weight, it says. I'm sure they should have some weight. Interesting, to say the least. So, our go- uh, our boat is go- it's gone. We could steal the fuel from the boat, that's it, I'm taking it. Let's drain the fuel and we can get the cargo in the B4 square. Around that town. What's the point when I have zero squidge vivers, so it doesn't matter. Wait, okay, we got the boat and that's all what matters. Wait, did we get that much fuel? Was that a glitch? 
I got a full canister of fuel from this boat, but it had like only this amount of fuel. I am a little bit lost. It stores a lot of fuel, apparently. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Thanks for the fuel. That was a ridiculous amount of fuel. Sell the boat. That's a good idea. And we are pretty close. We could sell the boat and then I'd have to run back to the car though. Back to this spot again. The boat is like 3k or something anyways. I'm not gonna bother ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry. I've sold the boat, la I've sold the boat last time. It's like 3k or something. It's really not worth the time and effort. We could do it. But I think it'll be smarter to just go to another town or something. Like, let's go to this C3 sector or something. There's a nice town up there. We could go to the A3 sector, though. That's nice stuff down there as well. I'm pretty sure we can get a police station. Uh, let's go to buildings. And where can we find another police station? Yeah, it's in this A3 sector. We could go there. Bike only for 1k and, uh, sure, boat, not that much to- Yeah, I've, s I've sold the boat, uh, already once and it was pretty bad. Okay, so we're gonna go to the A3 sector. 2k plus, 3k is 5k, Cyric. I mean, yes, but it'll take- We could- we can't sell it. I mean, it's not that- we can't- we let's do it, maybe, then. Let's maybe sell the boat. Alright, we'll do it. We will sell the boat, so I just said that we had the fuel. I'll have to run back, though. I don't know, man. I just got some fuel. It's not that difficult. I'll just go there, and then I'll have to run back. case 3k yeah i mean we could just not sell the boat but i guess let's do something else then i'll need to get a box just for the items that i'm planning to sell i don't think there's anything else i need i'm gonna run back with this backpack it'll be fine could leave the back though, but it's only 1.7 kilos anyways. It's like we always loot. So I might as well just run for a bit, right? Just so that we can do something else. But maybe raid some police stations. Like, that's the goal. I wanted to go and do some police stations. But that's mostly what we do. That's mostly how I get loot. Selling one thing worth 3k, bruh. It's probably not worth it. Maybe it's not even 2k. The durability of the boat is at 99%. It's not that far. It's not gonna take us forever. Let's do something. Let's go sell it. Because when we loot, it's like, all oh, Cycle you do is constantly loot in this game. Let's do something else. Let's sell the boat. Buy a better bow. I have only 37 fame points. So I don't have enough fame points. Hopefully I have enough fuel to get to the traders. If I don't have enough fuel to get to the traders, that'll be very sad. I also cannot get any tires. perhaps stop by this gas station to refuel this boat because I might not have enough fuel I mean it doesn't matter if you don't have enough fuel you can always paddle with the boat it's a long walk to your car it's not really that long can run across one sector relatively fast and it's not even half a sector maybe it's a half a sector a little less
motorboat. There we go, 500 cash. Okay, let's stop it. That's more than enough. That's it. I'm not going to be filling it fully, fully. Because my goal is to sell it. Let's go. That'll be more than enough fuel to get to the thing then. Mr. Dunhill. Oh, it's very loud. I just realized that. Uh... Mr. Dunhill, thanks for being a member. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, mate. Thanks for the support on the channel. Currently, we are driving to the traders. We're gonna sell this boat. Maybe it's more expensive now. I doubt it though. I think last time I sold it for 2K maybe. Hopefully it's not 1,800. I have a lot of numbers in my head. 1,800, 3K, 2,200, or 2,400. These are like some random numbers, but one of those numbers is the price of the boat. Maybe 3200 but I think it's 1800 Hopefully it's not 1800 If it's 1800 then I'm totally getting scammed. If it's 3K, I'm also getting scammed, but at least it's fun. If it's 1800 then I'm getting scammed and it's not even fun. So let's see. Let's see, ladies and gents, is Sire getting scammed or not really? If the boat is still too loud or something, let me know. I will definitely make it more quiet. But I think it's a little bit quieter now. Hunt sharks. I think to hunt sharks, you have to have harpoons, and I still don't have any harpoons. I never hunted any sharks. I don't know if it's worth it to hunt sharks. If they add quests to the game, and one of the quests is to hunt a shark. That'd be cool. It's like, did you go to bunkers? Last time when I went there, there were hundreds of them and a big war triggered inside of bunkers. I hope it gets fixed. Lols is Prince P. Now bunkers are a little bit weird. There are lots of zombies and I haven't looted bunkers in a while. I don't think they ruined bunkers, but I don't know. I don't go to bunkers anymore. I used to load a lot of bunkers. I have a lot of videos on scum survival bunkers, but it's been a while since I've been to any of those bunkers. I don't think they ruined them. It's just that now it's very difficult to go to bunkers, especially the abandoned bunkers. Then why even bother? I don't know. Some of the things have become a lot more difficult. The boat is pretty expensive. I like it. If you get scammed that it's not funny, I will laugh, says the A. Don't you dare to laugh. Don't you dare to laugh. It's illegal to laugh. The abandoned bunkers are now challenging. Yeah, but at the same time, using guns there is pointless because noise triggers more zombies and now noise triggers those new enemies that jump out of the from the ceiling from the vents, but the noise now also triggers zombie hordes, so you just have to be quiet, so I kind of don't get it. Like, I like scum survival, but, like, getting guns now is pointless. Like, again, maybe for multiplayer to defend yourself against other p players, right? But if you play in single player, guns are pointless. Like, it, there's no point to get a gun because guns will trigger zombies. You can't use guns on anything. What's the point of guns? Like, what do I loot? Right, like, what am I... Oh, no, I cannot park it. It's pointless to park it here. Where's that schmuck? Where's the boat dealer, dude? Yeah, guns for PvE. I mean, you cannot use guns for PvE anymore because guns spawn... Uh, zombies. Okay, the dude is here. Can I sell the boat? I probably need to park it on another side, though. Step right up. Yep, cannot sell it. From here, though. No, oh, my dude is shaking. I don't want to sit.
I could put the boat here to sell it. Either here or there. I'm not sure where I have to place the boat. Katanas and bows are the meta. Probably. Razors. Yeah, yeah, the big guy, the Brenner or whatever he's called. But yeah, the razors, that's the... Those are the dudes that I'm talking about. Razors. You gotta be quiet. You cannot use guns because that'll trigger razors. And now you cannot use guns because... You'll trigger zombies, so guns are absolutely pointless. You use guns only for PvP. Okay, these things haven't loaded. Interesting. Ahoy there. Still don't have the boat. Homie, let me sell the boat! That there is a good one. What are you selling, son? Do you have items on your boat? Nope. I know I had trouble selling it last time as well. My mechanic buys boats, I think. Either the mechanic or this guy. I'm, I'm sure I can sell it. Last time when I tried to sell a boat, I've sold the, the boats only once, right? I've sold only one boat. And I also had trouble selling it. I wasn't sure where to play, park it. I think it's on this side. If it's not on this side, then... I, I'll try to sell it to the mechanic. Why are you going under the thing? Schmuck! There we go. Resident Evil 4 Merchants, boys. What you buying? Yep, yeah, that, that dude was amazing. I love Resident Evil 4. Uh, there we go. Now we can sell the boat. So yeah, you gotta park the boat that way. 2300, ladies and gentlemen. Selling the boats. 2300, ladies and gentlemen. That's the boat. That's the price of the boat. 2300. Am I scammed? I paid 300 or something for the fuel. So that's two grand for the boat, right? The boat costs me in total 2K. I said that if it's 1500 or 1200, it's not even funny. I don't, know, I don't know if it's funny for 2k. We came here for 2k, whatever. I'm, I'm selling it. There's nothing else I can do with it. I sold it. I've gotten two more k, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have 4,400 in our bank account. Thanks, scammer. Thank you. Okay, so a lot of things haven't loaded here. That's weird. I've never had this bug before. Water, ladies and gentlemen. We can buy some water. That's what's up. If I can buy water. Here's what I've got. Yes, I can buy water. Let's buy like three bottles of water. Uh, let's use our card to buy that. Thanks. Here I'm recycling, so take this empty one. And let's drink some water. Understandable, absolutely. Totally understandable, ladies and gentlemen. I got scammed. It's not a good deal, but hey, you do what you gotta do. Yes, indeed. We do what we gotta do. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are no longer thirsty. Plus, I have two more bottles. Maybe I'll buy one more. Here's what bottle. Got. Two more bottles. What else could we buy, ladies and gents, while we're here? While we are here, what else would you like me to buy? Um, mechanic, the wheel, I cannot buy it. To buy the wheel, I need to have like 400 reputation or something, like the Wolfswagen parts, and there are the wheels. I need to have 250 fame points. I could buy another canister of fuel, but I think we have already enough fuel in the car. So we can drive to the whatever we need. I guess let's leave this place. There's nothing else we can do here, honestly. Unless the doctor, we can go to the doctor and buy more antibiotics. Perhaps. I'll have a look. Antibiotics, right? Let's buy maybe three more pills of those. They are a bit expensive. I already have six, but whatever, that's it. There's nothing else I need. Could you buy a screwdriver? I think you need pain points for that and... I don't think I have cash for it anyways. 
I think it's enabled on this server, but it's like five grand or something on this server, like on this single player server. Now get running boots and get back to the car. Uh, I should get new boots. <laughs> you are right, I should get the boots. Maybe that was a joke, but hey, I could get the boots. A lot of the stuff is just not loaded in. Look at this. There's all grass outside. What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen this glitch before. Wow. This is what I like about Scum. It makes you rely on scavenging than buying because you gotta grind fame points to purchase some stuff. Yeah, that's what I like about it as well. Some people don't like fame points to buy stuff, but I think it's fine. Maybe some, maybe fame points aren't easy to get. are not negotiable. But you also gotta get fame points to buy stuff. I came here to buy boots. See, I don't mind getting some fame points. It is a bit difficult to get like 250 fame points. But hey, it is what it is. Where's the... There we go. There's that dude. Buy foods and energy drinks. I'm not sure what you do with energy drinks, though. I don't think I've ever had any energy drinks. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse what about food? We could buy something. Baking soda. I don't like those beans. They take a long time to open. We could just eat a stick of butter. Crackers are good, though. I'm gonna get two boxes of crackers. Sorry, really? Yes. I got two boxes of crackers. Any shoes? Uh, high top shoes, other shoes. Trainer shoes. Okay, let's get the trainer shoes. They're 100 bucks. Yes. <laughs> like, we are actually buying boots, ladies and gentlemen, to run to the car because these ones are at 30% durability. That might not be enough. <laughs> okay, what happened? Map was open. I couldn't close it. Took me three days to get 300 fame points. Yikes. Uh, was that on single player or on multiplayer? And do you get fame points for killing players in multiplayer? Did you get a lot of fame points by killing players there? Maybe. Because, I mean, three days to get 300 fame points isn't uh, that long, I guess. I'm probably going the wrong way. I'm going north. I don't want to go through that way. Buy bows. I cannot buy bows. I need much more fame points. I need either 120 or 160, maybe 80 fame points. I need a lot of fame points for the bows. I mean, while we're at it, I might as well just check it out. I have no idea what's going on, why everything's like this. We could reload. Wait, let me quickly reload then. There we go, now it's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, finally everything's loaded properly. And imagine my card disappeared just because I reloaded. What's up? If you're trying to rob the place, uh, bow, right? All of these alarm. bows require like 100 fame points. And better arrows also require 100 fame points. So there's nothing I can buy from this guy. Helix sells nothing. Only a little bit of clothing. Like boots. Thousand cash. Oh, he also sells hiking bags now. Maybe you needed 35 fame points or 30 fame points. I couldn't buy anything last time. Well, now I can. That's some fast PC. I mean, we are in single player. Maybe that's why it loaded in fast. I think it loads a lot longer uh, to a multiplayer server. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just keep going. Let's equip our new shoes. Maybe I'll run faster with them. Maybe I don't. In any case, let's keep going. Is there a difference with what kind of shoes you got? Because I know that like better shoes last longer, but let's say I have these trainer shoes now. Is it better to run with these 100% uh, durability trainer shoes or 
Am I going? Oh yeah, the reason why I came here because I wanted to avoid the city. I didn't want to run through the city. I could have just exited through the other door and ran like that. In any case, too late. Doesn't matter. We've left the zone and let's keep going. Wait, there's north. That's up. Okay, we, we're going the right way. It's all fine. Maybe Cyrix's server is not too busy. It's a single player server. It's not even a server. It's. We are in single player. The game here looks beautiful. That's what I have to say. It looks awesome. Feels like it has a lot of dynamic range here, but it's just because the sky is kind of dark and. But it looks kind of cool. If you don't use the car for 600 hours, it'll disappear, says the recruit. I think you can change that in the settings. And the cars used to disappear for me. If you don't log in, like, for a few months or something, they would disappear. I might have changed that, but... I don't remember. Go to the red dot on the map. That's a good joke. Harbor, that's a good joke. Go to the red dot on the map. We are the red dot on the map. Here, I'm taking a screenshot. It's kind of alright. Maybe I'll use it for something. Maybe I won't. And I'm gonna go now all around it. And we are almost back at the boat. It didn't really take that much time. It was actually more difficult to probably drive that boat. It took us more time. We are pretty fast with our two feet. Is Silencer good in this new update? I don't know. I think Silencers still spawn zombies. Silencers are still loud unless they've changed something. Maybe some of you can confirm or deny that. Welcome, welcome, Karla Vacek. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Oh no, oh no, the zombies are after me. There's a zombie here. I'm gonna die here right now, but I'm dead. Run, idiot! Run! The zombie horde got triggered. We gotta just run, but I'm dead. I'm gonna get back my stuff later. We gotta run through the bushes to make them disappear. I don't want to fight any of them right now. I'm about to run out of stamina. This dude is like a leech. Bruh. Bruh, I'm gonna die! Why there's so many zombies after me? Why that dude is so fast? Oh my goodness. Attack that dude! Draw the arrow! I can't draw the arrow. I can't draw the arrow, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna die from the from the zombie. Unless I attack it. I can't draw the arrow because my thing is broken. I can't draw it. Looks like my, my hand is broken or something. I don't get it. I can't draw the arrow anymore. I'm gonna die. I have 6% of health. Just like that, we died. Why those zombies are so fast? Sound effect that puppets do is so annoying. Yeah, that, that's a, that, that's an extremely annoying effect. It's so annoying when they stun you. The guy's like, oh, oh, that's super annoying. I 100% agree with you. And I couldn't outrun that zombie. I dropped my backpack. Hopefully, the backpack doesn't despawn. I don't know. Hopefully, everything is still there. Uh, we died at the B4 square, correct? So let's respawn. Let's go. Uh, where are we? Oh, whoa. Uh, north, we gotta go completely opposite direction. Then if it's this, we gotta go that way. I died on that place, dude. It's gonna take us a while to run to that thing. Dude, no. Maybe I'll get in the car then. I can get to the car from here faster. Let's 
Let's go, ladies and gents. It'll take a while. We'll just run now to the car. 2K boat, 1K respawn, says Harbor. Stop it! We don't think about that. Stop it. It's still worth it. It's still 1K profit. All right? It's still 1K profit. And it's raining. You can't make that stuff up. Is it at 100%? Yes, it is. Let's go. You really can't make that stuff up. The environment cries with you. Yes. That's about right. Even the gods are sad of what happened. I'm glad that I dropped that backpack because I think if you die with the backpack, the backpack disappears. So maybe I will be able to get my backpack back, but the point is uh, if I... Okay, it looks kind of cool, right? The shadows, the, 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 the light, the, the things. I think the game looks fun. Looks pretty. But if I meet any zombies on the way, I won't be able to get my loot, so I have to craft a bow. Be able to kill those zombies? No? Yes? Outrunning that slim zombie is a disaster. I could always outrun them. It was the first time when I couldn't outrun. Okay, this game looks like completely different. It feels like it's running on a different engine. Like if somebody showed me this screenshot, I'd be like, okay, they moved this game to, to Unreal Engine 5 or like whatever. Because it does look better. I have no idea why. Why? Feels cool. I mean, the, the guy is a little bit very oily. But it looks nice. It feels like the game has a lot of depth now. There's like some sort of fog in front of us kind of a little bit. Looks good. The only problem is there's a horde guarding the backpack now. Yep. That is true. Yeah, the malnourished zombies run like cheetahs. That's insane. But I think it's the first time that I couldn't outrun a zombie. Usually I could outrun them. They're so fast. They're faster than you. How is that possible? In any case. Yeah, it's more atmospheric, says Benny. Yep, I agree. This weather is kind of cool. Especially when there was, like, some sun. I think I'll have to drop down kind of around here-ish. To restore some of my health. Is that the server you upload videos or YouTube? Or is this the new one? It's the... My single player... Uh, series. I'm just playing here in the live stream. During the live stream. Because it's been a while since we played Scum Survival and I wasn't planning to record another Scum Survival video. Like, I kind of want to record it, but... Yeah. I was like, whatever, let's do a live stream. They're faster if they're from the horde. Oh, I didn't know that. The zombies are faster if they're from the horde. Okay, so that's why it's the first time I see those zombies. Because I've seen those skinny zombies before. And they are fast, but if you drop the backpack, you're faster than them. Interesting. We could craft a new backpack. We could craft everything, but I don't want to do it. Maybe I'm going to be able to squa squash those zombies with a car. Perhaps. Okay, it's on another side. We'll have to go around. I mean, I'm already wet. But I could just swim to another side. I guess running around is faster. I just hope that my backpack is still there. What's up in the car? I mean, the car looks the, the car looks better. 
Everything looks better in the rain. Do I want to go there, ladies and gentlemen, without the bow? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have something interesting. Check out. What if I get this gun? I don't have space for the gun, though. Oh, I have the jacket. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this. Do I have any magazines for this HSSF-19? I know it makes noise, but I don't have a magazine for it. Yep, I do not have a magazine. I can just shoot with single bullets, but what's the point? I have a hatchet that I could use. Let's get a hatchet on my back. That's better than nothing. Look at this, how cool the game looks like. Whoa! Well, that, that's really cool. Looks nice. It's very depthy. Feels like there's a lot of depth now. It really feels like we are on a different engine for some reason. I've never seen this weather before. Sarek about to trigger the whole island. Probably. Probably. Um, so where did I die? I died there-ish? I mean, let's just drive forward and that's it. Glad the devs didn't implement uh, getting lightning strike when there's a thunderstorm. I'll give them ideas. You can get... The lightning struck in Minecraft, though. There's a slight chance that you can die. Dude, this is so cool. The game looks so much better with this lighting. Okay, there's my backpack. I am telling you, the game looks so cool. It's like as if I'm playing a different game. I'm not even kidding. Time should have got in the backpack. They can pop the tires, can't they? Okay, still couldn't hit that zombie. You can loot while you're in the car, drag it. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for the info. When did they add that? Okay, should I equip that backpack then? Where is it? Equip the backpack. What is this? I didn't have to get out from my car. That's awesome. Okay, that's great. I have the backpack. Nice. But now I have to retrieve my dead body. Getting chased by a zombie horde while raining reminds me of the scene where Rick Grimes and Glenn from The Walking Dead season one got chased. Perhaps. But dude, this is so awesome. This is like not scum like. Feels like we are not in scum survival. Um, how do I go back and get stuff? I can't do anything. I don't have a gun on me. Driving back to my dead body. Sounds silly. Walking there on foot, I'll probably die. I don't even remember where I died. Okay, they've damaged the car a bit. played The Walking Dead on this channel. The Walking Dead from Telltale? I haven't played it here on this channel. I have played it like eight years ago, maybe. But it's not on the channel anymore. It's deleted. <laughs> they don't want to follow 
follow me. I can hear that schmuck again. I can't do anything. I gotta get the bow. If I want to get back my dead body, I have to get the bow. Lure them to the ocean and jump. And what will I do? What will I do myself? Okay, let's park the car. an axe so I can get stuff quite fast with an axe, correct? Hope the dead body won't despawn when you tooled up. Luckily, we've got mostly everything. The dead body only had like what? I don't even know what the dead body had. I don't even know if it's worth it to go and retrieve it. Like some clothes and that's it? Is there anything even useful on the body? So the, exactly, like I don't even know what we have there. Like, I have all of my antibiotics, I have my credit card here, I have my cash, 50 cash here. Like, I don't even know if it's worth it to get back to that car. The rain stops, but that was a really nice weather. The fog definitely added some depth to it. They need to experiment with adding uh, more depthy stuff like that. Gilly paints. So yeah, the, the only thing we had there are gilly paints. Maybe I don't want them. I don't want those gilly paints, to be completely honest. There are better paints in the game. What's this music? I love it. I'm not sure how it's called. It's from YouTube library. be exact it's it's creep emmet fan long that's what it's called creep emmet double m fan double n creep emmet fan long that's it it's from youtube library i guess that's the one uh we've got that let's try to get the bow i like the new crafting thing but I have an issue with it, and I might not be the only one. Before, when you select an item, you could see what kind of resources you need to craft it. Now, let's say if I want to see anything, like let's say I want to know what do I need for this bow. I need to click the question mark. I see that, and then I have to go back. Let's say I go here. I want to know what how to craft this wheel. I see the recipe for the wheel, and then I go back. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, but I feel it's kind of weird. I like to click on anything and know what I need to craft it. Now I have more buttons, like two, three extra buttons to see. It's, I don't know. Just a random thought. However, we have the autocraft and I like the autocraft. Yeah, the fog makes it more challenging to find your way and trying to see the enemies. It's not like we had even a lot of fog there. It's just that fog added some depth and it looked cool. It's not like there was even a lot of fog. It was like rain slash fog slash whatever. I don't know. Okay, we've crafted more arrows. So technically, I don't even know why we're going back to the dead body. I mean, I had a... A quiver. Do I need to run there, go there with the car, or I can just run there on foot? Hmm. That rain didn't even last long, it was fun. I did enjoy that rain. Okay, so let's park the car here and I'll just go to where I died.
I even have a slightest clue where I died. I died somewhere. I don't even know if my body is going to be there. I think everything on the body disappears. I'll only have my axe and my bow. But I don't have an axe there. I only have a bow here, so I don't think I got anything. Where did they run? I, run? I ran through the bushes a lot, didn't I? I think I started running from somewhere here. I remember going through both of these bushes. I ran through this. I ran through here, probably, if these are the things. Maybe I started going kind of left-ish. Uh, I was complaining, how can they get me? I ran, I ran. And I died around here, I guess. Did I get any further? I think I stopped. Unless my memory doesn't work. Or unless everything looks the same. You died over there. <laughs> okay, thanks. You died somewhere on the map, Cyric. Definitely didn't get to this point, did I? I don't think I'll find it. Ladies and gents, I don't think I'll find it. Hundred percent remember running through these bushes. There are like these three bushes. There's no way it went up. I didn't fight it here. It's close to your backpack. No, 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 it's here. I mean I already have the backpack. It was I mean maybe it was close to the backpack, but I was running, then I came to this spot. Kinda. Probably. Yeah, I think we lost the body. Or we could do something what I call a big brain move. We could go on YouTube. Correct? And uh, we can open up where we, we died. We go on YouTube. Look at this, there's Cyric talking. Past Cyric, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where we died. Uh, there we go. Why the quality is so goopy. At is that how the stream looks like? Holy moly. Unbelievable. Okay, so I ran through this bush. That's where I am right now, kind of. And then I ran straight. I ran through this thing. And uh, I ran to these rocks. Okay, so I ran even further. And that's where I kind of started dying. Interesting. Cyric is gonna look past Cyric, yes. Wait, I forgot where I, I ran through here. These few rocks, I think I jumped over them. Did I fight around here or did I go... Was it here then? Or even further? I don't want to lose my body! It's somewhere here-ish. For sure. Ladies and gents, I think I lost my body. 
We cannot recover it. Again, we sound like we had anything on it. I dropped my backpack. So everything's fine. Uh, how about I... Go back again. To the video. Okay, the zombie horde started chasing me. I dropped the backpack. I went through this bush, through the other bush. As if I remember all of these bushes. Okay, then I went up the hill to these kind of rocks with the wood. Where's that rock with the wood? So there are these rocks, but these rocks don't have the wood. These rocks with the wood? No, these are not the right rocks with the wood, ladies and gentlemen. I am confusion right now. I ran through here, then I came here. Uh, this is the these this is the rock with the with the wood, right? Am I tripping? No, I'm not. No, I am. I am totally tripping, ladies and gents. We're we're gonna recreate everything, guys. Step by step! We're playing a detective game. It's come survival isn't just a survival game. It's a detective game as well. Okay, so as soon as we leave the bush, we have to have two trees in front of us. Okay. Sorry, the detective. 2024, yes. Yes, I am the detective. Was it this bush? I left and we have two trees. Nah, this is not the right one. For sure. These but maybe the body despawned. Maybe the body despawned. I just want to know where we died. I I'm sure there's there's gotta be some stuff. Dude, where is that bush? The more I stay here, the more lost I get. I'm not gonna lie. I am completely lost. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um. The shoes that I bought, they're almost destroyed. Actually, these are different shoes. Cyrig Holmes. I wish I could smell here to know what's up. To know where my where's my body. All the bushes look the same. You're doomed to fail. Okay. I'm pretty sure I went through these or through those bushes. I think I know what's up. There we go. There are those two trees. There we go. There's a dead... There's a zombie here. I can kill it. If it doesn't kill me first. Whatever. I don't care about those few arrows. So as soon as I left the bushes, I had two trees in front of me. Is that the, the right thing? No, it isn't, ladies and gentlemen. These are not the right two trees at all. What is this life? My loot guy lost forever. So there we go. I ran through these bushes. And then I have two trees and a big tree in front of us. That's not the, the spot. That's not where I am right now. Not at all. I mean, two trees and a big tree. That's kind of here, but... The bush wasn't here. <laughs> Unless this bush grew when I died, right? Do bushes grow? Probably not. Definitely I wasn't here. I 
think we could spend more time searching for the dead body. But is it worth it? Should we keep looting or not, guys? Yes, keep looking. Maybe we should look for a little bit longer. Uh, all right, how about we go back here in the video, ladies and gents? Okay, that's where it died. Okay, that's the sign. I took a turn. Okay, can I even recognize where I'm at right now? Where's that sign? Okay, the sign is over there. Oh, wow. I was really way off. Detective Sari got this. It says Harbor. Well, we'll see. I ran past the sign and we went that way, kind of, right? Definitely. I'm not sure through which bushes I went. Through these ones, probably. Did I go through these bushes or through those bushes? Definitely not through these bushes, then. Could have went here. There's no way I went here. I think you're at the wrong sign there too. You get uh, you got past the right wait, what? Is that the wrong street sign? There's no way this is the wrong street sign. This is the right one. I'm gonna pull up the video on another screen and I'll just follow my dude. If I don't die. running I'm gonna die from the zombie again I oh, know I killed it oh my goodness I'm gonna pop an antibiotic right now metabolism antibiotics there we go they're working the bleeding injuries need to be treated except I don't have any bandages all the bandages are in different spots in my dead body I don't want to give up. I've spent so much time trying to get the dead body and now just giving up on it would feel weak. All right. I'm checking. I'm checking. The dude went from this sign up here. Uh, the 
This is the wrong sign. Oh no, this is the right sign. Go up here. Okay, we got to the tree. We go... I'm, I'm already lost. The body's gone. Take the L. I mean, we'll see. I, I, I took the L already. I took multiple L's. Okay, so we go... Wait, what happened to my pants? Okay, I still have them. For a second, I thought I lost my pants. Okay, there was the sign. I went here, here. I'm telling you, this is the most silly thing ever. I'm just gonna go back to the car soon. And now the game's gray. Oh, I have some more bleeding injuries. And I can't repair them and I can't restore them and I in the car I don't have anything. Definitely went through these bushes. I think the body is gone. You know what? Let's give up on this while I'm still alive. While I still have some breath in me. get back to the car and at least drop the backpack in the car so that it doesn't despawn. I mean, we haven't lost kind of anything. I did have bandages in another pair of pants or something. However, maybe I can still do this and save a thousand cash. Okay, first of all, the backpack's gotta go here. Uh, the, 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 the rags... Disinfect the rag. How do I treat the thing then? This is so silly now. I click on treat. It doesn't allow me to treat this bleeding injury when I click on treat. Select an item. I can't use my rags anymore. There we go. I'm probably gonna die. Have to click on the rag here. Whatever, that was a bit confusing before it was different. Yep, I'm bleeding like crazy. And these are... All of my things, all of my bandages. Unless I do have bandages in the car, but I only have one more rag here. The C2 injury just doesn't go lower. It still stays at C2. <sighs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing we can do about it. At least we still have loot in the car. I guess I cannot restore my health. Nothing in the biker's thing. Let's drop the thing back in the car.
and the ball with the with the with the thing and axe with the bow maybe rest there's nothing i can do with these c2 injuries i have to patch up the wounds and we have 11 health ladies and gents that's going to be our second death of the day however we sold the boat ladies and gentlemen we can afford these deaths right so silly while we are not dead yet we might as well keep looking for the body for the other one Probably doesn't matter though. We could probably watch frame by frame, pixel by pixel. I definitely ran through these bushes. Correct. Then I got to here. Yes, this is the frame that I was talking about from the video. Uh, that I know. Ladies and gents, we're still alive. Okay, so I kept going forward through here. Okay, where else did I go? I kind of went uh, straight-ish to the rock. Like these, like here. Then I went down. There are the trees and I died around here. Okay, so my dead body should be around here is then I went here and I died Somewhere around this spot ladies and gents This is, this is the spot where I died um, But I don't see my dead body Now do I Maybe everything did despawn, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, I died here, but I, I think my body just despawned. Right, sure will, there's still time. There is. But yeah, I don't think we have anything on the body. I think when you die, everything despawns, apparently, for some reason now. Because I died, like, in this circle here. Well. Nice, nice bit night vision, dude. Yep, the uh, body despawned. In any case, wait, my health is going back up. It's at eleven percent. It was at eight. Bro, <coughs> why am I still alive? Twelve percent of health. How is it? What is this? How am I still alive? Because it's almost. Closed your wound. I mean, I still have another one and the C2 injury keeps going up like it doesn't go lower Like I am bleeding Put more rags you can survive bro, okay Let's go then back to the car now at least I know for sure that the body has despawned because that's where I died and the body's gone I have no idea why I had my bandages in my pockets, in my pants. Now that'll be a lesson to keep bandages in my backpack, not in my pockets. Otherwise that thing will despawn. I'm glad that I dropped my backpack because if I hadn't dropped my backpack when I was running, I'm sure that backpack would have despawned as well. It's not the first time when I lose my items when I die. 17% ladies and gentlemen, my health keeps going up. You know what? Maybe there is. A light at the end of the tunnel. Not the not the bright one though. Cause that's that's when you actually die, but this is like the, the good kind of light at the end of the tunnel. Um we just need to get some rags and the best way to get rags is cutting the backpack into pieces of cloth. Yes. Do I have anything here useful? Nothing. Totally nothing. I still have a little bit of absinthe father. Um, a 
could cut down this biker leather jacket into pieces of cloth or... Okay, there's this thing. And where's my axe? I had an axe. Did I drop it in the car? There we go. There's an axe. Let's cut this thing into rags. Socks and boxers. I don't want to cut the boxers because then my ding dong will be flopping around everywhere. And it's like there is censorship. I don't trust it. Still some pixels slip through that. I don't want this channel to get banned because of some PP. So I'll be careful. Okay, we got dirty rags, dude. It's not cool. It's not what the doctor ordered. However, what if I combine these things together? There we go. I can disinfect. I can disinfect. And can I disinfect these? No, I cannot disinfect the other one. So I've put a lot of bleeding injuries. Oh, the white thing. It shows how many, how much I've patched up the wound, didn't I? I see what's up. Let's now treat this. And there we go, it'll treat it. I see now this white thing around the, the bleeding injury. It shows how much it's treating it. Oh, now it shows. Oh, I see. I didn't even know that. Whoops, that's the wrong button. I didn't know that. I've just learned something new today after how many hours it's come. Uh, I got... I got, I got Steam open here, so I might as well check it. After 465 hours, probably we have a bit more because uh, I don't think it counted the hours that we've played today. So after almost 500 hours, I've just figured out that when you click on the bleeding injury, when you select this thing and you see this, it's blinking now. It has to go all the way around it to know when the C injury will be completely treated. Interesting. So ladies and gents, we can actually survive. I just need more rags. More rags um how do i get more rags i could cut to, cut down this biker leather jacket it's at 100 percent durability should we cut it down into rags that's a neat feature seeing how much you've treated your wound yeah i didn't even know that it's possible use the dirty one too it's fine you have antibiotics <laughs> That feels so wrong, but I, I'll do it. It does treat a little bit. Ah, uh, could have probably maybe washed it in the sea. Okay, we did. I cannot use this piece of tissue. It's fine. You have antibiotics. I've eaten the the vitamin bear. Say, cut your shirt. Yeah, let's cut it then into rags as well. My health is at 14%. Is it because my painkillers are gone? I think my health is dropping lower because I don't have any more painkillers. I gotta get some painkillers. Because my health is going lower now, it's at 13%. I'm definitely on painkillers now. Okay, so both of them won't fix that either. It's still not enough rags to fix this injury. Okay, we're almost done. Time to s cut down the pants into rags as well. At this point, I would have drowned myself in the river and started fresh. You have too much determination. I mean, you could have just pulled out the the thing from your head. The BCU chip. I just wanted to save a thousand bucks and plus some running. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. All of the things are done. How about I lay down?
Okay, my immune system is also pretty low. I need to pop another pill. Maybe that's why I'm dying. Let's pop more, one more antibiotic. And let's try to lay down. Let's see if we're alive, ladies and gentlemen. Cut the mask. I wasn't sure if it's possible to cut the, ma cut the mask. Why is my foot moving? Stop it. Risk it for the biscuit. Cut the undies. Okay, will the health go up now? Stomach's empty. There's always a problem, isn't there? Okay, antibiotics are still kind of working. Painkillers are kind of working. The things are treating themselves. Okay, it is going up little by little. Say careful puppets. Oh, I've totally forgotten about them. <laughs> I've totally forgotten about the zombies. If you have uh, max medical skills, two rags only will fill that box. Okay, I didn't know. And these, and these. No, no, we have the underwear. It's fine. So the first bleeding injury will be treated very soon. My health doesn't go up or down anymore. I mean, soon we'll be fine. As soon as the those injuries start recovering, we will be gaining a lot of blood back. Everything is going to be fine, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. The first bleeding injury is restoring. And check this out. The health is going up. I mean, actually, it's... Yeah, yeah, the damage goes down. It says health. 34% or something. 34 HP, it goes up. Look at this. Look at my health now in the down left corner. I'm going to sit in the car and I'll dip out from here. I'm sitting in the car and I'm dipping out because this is a cursed place. It's not the first time when I die in the city. I think this is my second time when I've died in the city. I actually died twice. No, I've died once in the city during this episode and I've died before in previous episodes in my previous series. Okay, as long as I don't hit a tree, I should survive. I'm driving the wrong way. Oh, it's fine. I mean, we are kind of restoring the health and we got to drive anyways. So let's just go. Either to A3 square or we could go to the other one. Let's go to the A3 square, whatever. Let's just then keep going. Black and white, so I can eat the colors. I mean, soon we'll see the colors. Soon everything's going to be fine. My health is going up now. The other bleeding injury is going to recover as well. We're in the car driving and we survived, ladies and gents. I have no idea how, by what kind of miracle. Loot the place, loot the police station. We have already looted it. The loot's reset, but I don't reload the same location twice. It's silly. Then we can just camp the one place and we can just keep looting the same police department. I'd rather go to another town. Stomach empty, it's fine, we'll eat something. I have a raisin. <laughs> we'll pop a box of raisins or something. Let's just keep going straight. I'm glad that it didn't hit that tree. Because you can damage yourself now. At least you didn't lose another thousand bucks. Yeah, it was definitely worth it to save this body then. I could have just died, right? We could have ran back to this place. I could have lost another thousand cash. But at least we didn't. So there's that. Okay, now I guess it's time for us to get the loot, the backpack, and that's it. We are alive. The bleeding injury will restore itself. Everything's okay. We have our immune system. The zombies didn't take that. Let's get the backpack. Let's get back the bow. Okay, 
We have the axe, we got the bow. Uh, we got the biker leather jacket. We even still have the repair kit. Cool. Let's check that out. Oh, there's the moon. We now need to get pants. We need to get our quiver back and that's it. Other than that, we didn't lose anything. Just the quiver. Uh, probably six or seven bandages. What else did I lose? A knife? Because I don't have a knife here anymore. A quiver. Paints. Gilly paints. And glasses. Because that's something. That's pretty cool. The sun is setting. Let's pop an apple. So I think it could have been a lot worse. Sometimes these watchtowers have uh, a gun. Sometimes they have something else. So that's why I climbed here. I probably shouldn't have spent so much time looking for my dead body. But I guess it's fine. What about my health? Okay, the bleeding injury is still restoring itself. Cool. We're alive, though. Oh, we have crackers. Let's pop an entire box of them. We'll get, like, what, almost 2k calories? What do you think of my new hat? Of my new fisherman's hat? Or the boonie hat, whatever it's called. Fishing hat. What do you think of my new fishing hat? I lost my glasses, so we had to get some sort of new drip. Uh, my boots. Wait, I can repair these boots and I can get rid of my trainer shoes. Stupid boots. Perhaps I'll find another thing on the map. Can I turn on the lights? How does one turn on the lights? Control F. Control E. I don't know how to turn on the lights, how to toggle lights. Whoops. Did I mean to click F? Options, controls, and uh, vehicles. Vehicles, uh, steer light, raft, uh, your left, your right, okay, whatever, that's probably for the airplanes. Toggle lights, it's X, oh, there we go, I knew it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, lights are so epic, they are pretty epic. Look at us! We have survived. No airdrop today. I don't have any screwdrivers. I have like only four of those. If I get an airdrop... Now maybe I'll go to it, but... Yeah, but I only have four screwdrivers. Two actually. Uh, three, not four. I'm an idiot. Three screwdrivers. Checking, perhaps I'll find some new, new watchtowers. And look at my health, ladies and gents. The bleeding injury is is over. It's done. There we go. That's it. We did it. We have uh, magically recovered everything. Everything's fine. The last dinner is the best, but this one is pretty okay. Says Lila. Welcome to the stream. I did send you a telepathic hello. Welcome, welcome. So we're... It's just a bleeding C1 injury, that's fine. 
There's just a tiny crash, ladies and gentlemen. That was just a tiny car crash. Because the car doesn't listen to me. But hey, here we are. In another town. Isn't that cool? It was all calculated, absolutely. That was definitely all calculated. So what do we do? Do we grind in the night? Maybe I'll find some more food. Actually, I don't even don't even know if I want more food. Yeah, I've gotten 2k calories from the crackers. Prepare for battle. So we have this entire town to loot. It's gonna take us quite a while. I'm thinking we just wrap it up here and then next time we'll continue in this town. Because that's what we are about to do, ladies and gents. We're probably going to be wrapping it up. With this poggers view. Wait, I just want to turn on the lights. I think it'll look kind of cool. There we go. This is cool. Cyric without the paints. Uh, we have the this thing. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful game. That's it. Let's get that all. See you in the next come video or stream. Actually, it might be a video. Maybe a stream. I don't know. It depends what we'll do next. Maybe it'll be in the video. Maybe it'll be in the stream. We'll see. You should try Pacific Drive. Yes, some people have already suggested Pacific Drive. I've seen a lot of people play Pacific Drive. And I... I think it's cool. Like, I'm still not really sure what it's about. I've just seen streamers and people say that it's a great game. It's like some sort of a unique driving survival game. Other than that, I don't know much about it. So I want to check out Pacific Drive. Maybe I will be checking it out. Did you play Valheim already? I have made a video on Valheim on the channel. I've beaten Valheim. And not, not on the channel. I've beaten Valheim off camera. But I've made one video on Valheim on the channel. I secretly miss Rust, but other streamers are too intense there. There might be more Rust as well. We might check it out here and there. In any case, ladies and gents, thanks for being here. Shout out to all of you. There will be more uh, Scum Survival. I'm glad that we checked it out today. We died. That's all right, though. We were able to recover my backpack. And that's it. I have beaten all of the games off camera. All right. Congrats on beating all of the games. And shout out to all of you guys. And see you tomorrow. Either with... There are a few options. Either I'll probably play maybe Scum, uh, Last Day on Earth, or 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 I'll check out that Pacific Drive either for a video or for a live stream. If I get my hands on that Pacific Drive, I don't even know how does one get uh, Pacific Drive. Do you have to because the game is in early access? Can you just buy it and have it in early access, or you gotta get the key from the devs? I have no idea, so I'll research that. And other than that, that's pretty much it. So thanks everybody for being here. See you tomorrow. And take care, everybody. See you, see you later. And peace out, guys. Take care. Shout out to all.